Hey YouTube, Dan Lessick here again. I got another leather product for you. Uh, this one come about, this was actually my first uh, design and uh, first, uh, when me and Randy Smith first met. And uh, what I have here for you today, it's my tender pouch. Now this tender pouch uh, come about about a year and a half, almost two years ago. Due to the fact that I was trapping beaver in very cold temperatures, and I was wondering if, if I fell in, there's no ten, there's no tender. One of the hardest things to come by in a fast situation, no dry tender. So I come up with this bag, and I met Randy, and man, we really hit it off. I, his brain starts thinking like mine. And I ended up having hip surgery, and I was laid laid up for three months, and. I called Randy about this bag and we kind of designed it over the phone and, and uh, I said, this is what I need. I, I need a big enough hole in it to grab my big hands to get a hunk of tinder to throw it on the ground or dump it. But I needed as water resistant as we could get it. And Randy came up with this idea and the way he stitched the sides of this, uh, it's really, really, really water resistant. I've done test up this bag up to five minutes. Yes, I did have moisture inside the bag. It, it is a grain dairy. But five minutes in 30 degree water, it's gonna be a bad day. You're not gonna stay long in there. You're gonna get in and get out. And the, the process this is, and you'll see real long tags on this. And uh, it's to take your tender, it's in there. Uh, and roll this back, flip, flip the lid over, and start rolling the bag. You wanna roll it tight. You wanna take it all the way down. Now, why we come up with these big long tags is you wanna take one of them, doesn't matter either one when you start, you wanna bring it all the way out to the end, and you need to pull it. What I'm trying to do is cinch that down. I'm gonna go around like this. I ain't afraid to pull on it. I mean, you gotta pull on it for a reason. But the other tag is I wanna go the opposite way I went with that one. So I wanna go all the way out to the edge, all the way out to here. I wanna pull that tight, cinch that down. I got some fat wood in there, like that. And I wanna bring it around. And when I get, when I get up to the, the middle, I wanna, both of them to kinda of end up in the middle of the, the thing. Leave your left self plenty of room. That's why they're so long. And I want to put a bow in this like this. And there's a reason for the bow. And the reason is, is if, you, if you go in the water and you're in there and your gloves, I, I have rubber gloves on, but if you lose them and they get full of water, it's going to be a good deal. But you can see how tightly wrapped that is. See how I pulled it down a nice neat package? Weighs almost nothing. Goes in the bottom of your possible bag. See how tight this is? So now, what happens when you go into the water? The bow is, I can either bite on it and pull, or I've, I've got very, I want to lose my dexterity in my fingers. But it's big enough I can grab hold of it, pop it open. Like that, now bag's open. I can unroll it. Everything's big that I can get my hands on and reach in and get my tender back. Now, why I'm making this video today is because Randy Smith called me and he, he talked to a guy who I believe he, Randy, gave him this bag or purchased this bag from him. I'm not really sure. But his name's Dan Wolwack and he was on the show Alone 3. Uh, did a real good write-up on Facebook on this bag. I was really happy. You can imagine how happy I was. And that he's, you know, he actually said this is one of his uh, mainstay for his kit now, is his tender bag. So uh, the other reason was is we go down to the Pathfinder Gathering. Last year we went down the Pathfinder Gathering, and we sold a lot of these bags, a lot. And there's a lady down there and a gentleman, uh, Tina Boltman. 
and a guy named Mike Gasper, I believe. I'm from pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, but she had purchased one of these bags. And me and Randy only went down for a couple of days to see how the show was going to be. And uh, after we left, there was a fire challenge. And I believe they have to uh, walk through the swamp, get totally wet, and come out and uh, make fire. And she actually won with this bag. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's also very good at what she does. So, you know, along with... Uh, our little bag and, and her skill and knowledge of fire making, she made this little bag shine for us. Uh, so, you know, it's a short video. It's it's not much. There is a coating on this that Randy coats these bags with. We're trying to make them as waterproof as possible. Remember, these are natural material. They're very hard to. I used to try to use plastic bags, and the tender pokes holes in your bags. Uh, I couldn't find a small enough rubber bag where I could get my hands in there, you know, some kind of small, you know, I couldn't find it. So, you know, I like I liked Randy because this is our first work together. And uh, when I was talking to him at the gun show, uh, I was telling him exactly what I needed. And uh, the gears started turning and the light bulbs went in. He got kind of excited about it. He goes, I can do this. I can do it. And of course, I, I know he could do it if you see his work. But uh, a lot of times uh, I was laid up with a hip replacement and a lot of phone calls back and forth, a lot of testing. I have personally tested this bag to five minutes, totally submerged. It's not designed for that, guys. Uh, if you're in 30 degree water, you're not gonna stay five minutes. If it is, you're gonna have a real bad day. But what it does is I did get a little bit of seepage and penetration through the leather, but my tender was still dry enough to make a fire with it. So. Uh, you know, mainly if you fall in the river, you're going to spring to action and you're gone because it's cold. It's going to throw you into shock. There's all kinds of stuff you got to go through to do it, uh, to get and survive it. It's, it's pretty cold. You're two miles from the truck, you fall in the creek, it's going to be a bad day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If, if you're interested in one of these bags, they're a great tender bag. Uh, look up Stitch Gear Outfitters, Randy Smith. We'll give you his number again. It's 513 305 7098. Guys, he does a tremendous job on these bags. He just he knocks it out of the park. The man open minded. He's AB normal. That's the title of my my YouTube channel is AB normal. It stands for abnormal. He likes thinking outside of the box like I do. Uh, give him a shout on these tender bags, but he, he basically won't go wrong. I I I come up with the, the basic idea, he run with it, collaboration between both of us, we've got a wonderful product here. I'm so happy what the feedback we're getting out of this bag. And uh, we've kind of keep the bag hid. We were gonna post another video on this bag you know, right before uh, Pathfinder Gathering, but come out a little earlier with Dan Woolwack. Dan, again, thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, Tina, <laughs> way to go. Mike. Way to go. Uh, so thank you. Thank you again for all you guys' support. Uh, so there'll be another leather video. We ain't done yet. So enjoy, guys. Thank you.